hey again, and I say again because this is the second time I'm doing my vlog because my webcam screwed up. So, this is my vlog, the Library 100. I'm Joseph Pate, I'm a student here at Clemson University, and this is our Library 100 vlog assignment for the New Student Dialogues. And this assignment was a way how we could get together with new students like ourselves and discuss certain topics so we can become more cultured and learn more about the world and American society. And the topic that I did was ages of privilege which focused on the certain rights you get when you reach a certain age in society. Whereas here in America, like driving is at 15 or 16, at 18 you can vote and at 21 you can drink. And these are different for each country where like some European countries like the drinking age is 16, voting age is maybe 30 or so. So like that's what this like whole assignment was supposed to do. We were supposed to reflect on that. And this is called a new student dialogue because the actual concept of the dialogue is pretty important for this. It's where a discussion is something people like commonly will look at when like talking about some sort of topic where that's maybe not as beneficial because everyone in a discussion usually has around the same viewpoint and if, even if they have conflicting viewpoints they're not really going to get into a heated argument about it so you usually don't accomplish too much you're just like backing each other up although you do kind of find new stuff out about the topic but it's not as effective as dialogue and a debate's another way of discussing a topic and that's where you have two opposing viewpoints and you try and get the other person to believe your viewpoint backing up with facts and using emotion and logos and pathos and that sort of stuff and that's not really as effective because most people are going to cling to their viewpoints and even when faced with facts they're not going to waver too much so you don't really accomplish anything with a dialogue, which is what we're doing for this assignment, it's kind of a mixture of both, but it's where you discuss something in a way where you, even if you have conflicting viewpoints, the same viewpoints, you contribute it to a group so where everyone puts their ideas in and you try and build off that to actually get somewhere and figure something out about the topic. Yeah. And so that's important because you can get everyone's viewpoints, build off of it, and like accomplish something as a group instead of just thinking about it individually. Okay, and the specific topic we did again was age, which looked at the different age limits in various societies. And the group I was in, because it wasn't a polarizing topic really, it was a kind of a quiet discussion, it wasn't a heated debate or anything, and so um, like no one was really outspoken which was kind of nice because it allowed everyone to get an opinion in and no one was like shot down if they had an idea so we could really like get somewhere with our discussion and although there were a few people that really seemed to have like a strong opinion although they didn't try and force on people they contributed a lot to the group and the people that led the discussion were obviously very knowledgeable about the topic so that definitely helped and the first thing that we did was play the game where we went into groups and each group got some note cards that had a specific law or something and like what age you got that right at and then there are another cards with like countries and you had to match them up and one interesting thing was even though they're all from countries that we as like Americans think we know about their culture like most of us like got the questions wrong and so it shows that we don't really know about like the age limits and rights in other countries and some of the answers were kind of shocking like some countries you couldn't vote when you were 30 some you could drink even when you're in early teens and stuff and then we also talked about some um, like of the laws here in America where like the driving age, drinking age, age where you can vote and see like what everyone's opinion on that was and I don't have too strong of an opinion on that um, one thing I suppose like the specific age 
Although one thing that I don't really like is the discrepancy between the um, drinking age and age where you're considered an adult. You can vote and get enlisted in the army, stuff like that. And my screensaver just went on. Okay, because if you're mature enough to vote and elect our like country's leaders and stuff like that, you should be considered mature enough to handle alcohol. Although I know a lot of people at 18, a lot of people at 21 aren't mature enough for either of those things. So I just think that those age limits should be the same whether we decide that they're 18 or 21. And that should probably go off of just how mature you are. Which leads into the other activity we did. We just had a discussion where everyone went around and like, wrote down on a whiteboard like what we thought you were an adult, like whether it's an age level or maturity level. And um, most people thought it depended on the, like when you're most mature rather than a specific age. And I agreed with that because um, here at 18, or in college, where a lot of the freshmen are 18, um, that's like the point where we're supposedly adults where I know a lot of people that are kind of immature and some people that are mature and can handle important life decisions. And so, like, it kind of depends on how, I guess, mature you are, where you can actually be considered an adult. And, yeah, and that's, those are pretty much the two specific topics that we did. And, like, reflecting on it as a whole, like the experience was a positive one because we got to come together as a group and discuss these topics and it was helpful and get to know more about them and about the concept of the dialogue itself. And so while I wasn't too happy about doing the assignment, I definitely learned from it. So anyone watching this? Bye, <laughs> I guess.